Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Guess what we're using today? We're using bananas. Now, see how right this one is? This is how you want your banana to be when you're gonna make your facial mask. So if you have your overripe bananas, don't throw them out because they're really amazing for the skin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix this banana with some other amazing ingredient to create an awesome facial mask, guys. This facial mask is gonna help to tighten and firm the skin is also going to help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes it's going to smooth those wrinkles and fine lines and best of all is going to leave your skin hydrated soft supples so if you're looking for a facial mask that you can whip up in your kitchen using all natural ingredient that's going to get the job done follow me to the kitchen and i'll show you how to whip this up in no time so i'm going to be using a medium banana for this recipe we're not using much of this only a half so even a half of a medium banana will do and banana are the secret to well moisturized skin the vitamin a in banana restored moisture and repair dry skin banana also will help to boost the collagen production it will clear the skin of spots and blemishes and leave the skin young fresh and glowing so today i'm going to be using just a half of a medium banana and you want to make sure your banana is very ripe like this one you do not want it to be green and then you're just going to remove the peel you can choose to leave the peel to make your skin tag remedy or you can choose to just scrape the inner peel where you have most of the valuable properties of the banana and you can add it to your banana flesh so I'm going to chop the banana in small pieces for easier blending. If you do not have a blender, you can always crush or mash the banana. So I'm going to place the banana in the blender. And we're not adding any water to this. We're going to blend as is. So just mash And here you have your blended banana. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna reach for some rose water. And we're gonna use about a, a teaspoon of rose water. We're pouring that in with the banana. And then guys, we're gonna reach for our rice green tea blend. And let me quickly show you how to make the rice green tea blend. It's pretty easy. So just watch how I made this. Now to make our green tea rice cream, it's pretty easy and I'm using white rice but you can use any of your favorite rice in this whether it be black purple brown you name it so I'm taking about a quarter cup of the rice I take the rice and I'm using about a quarter cup of the uncooked rice put in this in the blender and I'm gonna blend to a powder now guys if you have rice powder you can use this you can even substitute the rice for some flour in this recipe but make sure it is a very a very powdery like what I have here now once this is done I'm gonna use about a one-third cup of the rice powder use the same if you're using an substitute ingredient we're going to pour this in the blender for blending but before we further blend what we're going to do we're going to add some hot water make sure the water is hot boiling temperature and we're going to pour about uh, three tablespoons give and take of this hot water in the rice powder and we're going to mix now what we're going to do next we're going to add another ingredient to this and i'm using green tea if you have already subscribed to the channel and you feel like you want to be more active on this channel to be more a part of the channel then you can become a member look below there's a join button click on it and choose your tier i'm going to be using a tea bag but if you have loose leaves go ahead and use that instead just make sure that it is blended now guys 
one tea bag is going to be about a teaspoon of green tea and use the same amount if you are substituting. You can substitute green tea with chamomile tea. You can even use some black tea since it has antioxidant properties that is great for the skin. You can even use some matcha powder in this recipe. Now guys, if you take a look at my rice right now, you'll clearly see that I need a little bit more hot water. So add a little more hot water if necessary and once this is done we are going to blend a second time and once we blend this what we're going to get is our green tea rice cream now guys when you're making this recipe you need to follow the step as i do because if you pour the hot water before you blend the rice to a powder it's not going to come out as creamy as this is it's going to be very lumpy and that's what you don't need so follow the step exactly as i showed in this recipe so what i'm going to do next i'm going to just scrape this in a bowl and here as i said we have our green tea rice cream now this is a base guys and you can choose to use this base with many other ingredients to create your own personal homemade facial mask anti-aging skin tightening firming facial mask so now that this is done let's move on We're going to pour about a tablespoon and a half of our rice green tea blend in the blender. And you want to blend this the way I do because if you don't do it, it's going to be lumpy and you don't want it to be lumpy. So blend the ingredients separately like I did. And now we're going to cover. You can also choose to put a little bit of uh, oil in this, but it's not necessary and we're gonna blend and here it is this is your anti-aging facial mask let's pour this in our container and the smell is amazing now, if you want to make more, you can double up on the ingredient. I don't suggest you make a lot since you have to use this up within a week. Ready, sir? This is it, guys. Your banana green tea facial mask. You want to use this on your skin, clean skin, two to three times per week. You're going to apply the mask on your face, your neck, and your décolleté. You're gonna moisturize it on your face. You're gonna apply it to your face like I'm showing here. You wanna be generous with this, okay? So once you apply it on your face, you're gonna let it sit on the skin for at least 30 minutes. Now, because we have rice in this, it's gonna dry on the skin. So give it a chance to dry 25 to 30 minutes or so and then you're gonna rinse off with some cold water pat dry the skin and apply your favorite facial toner and moisturizer you want to use this mask at least two to three times per week for best results and store this in the refrigerator for up to seven days this is good for your face your neck it is also great for your hands if your hands are dry guys so give it a go use it for a couple and come back and leave a comment so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video just leave your comments and also share the video share the recipe and if this was the first time watching you want to see more of these videos look below you're gonna see the word subscribe in red just click on it and you will be subscribed also guys I have my vlog channel the link is below go over there and subscribe to my vlog channel thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye bye